Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will learn what the postictal state is, symptoms of the postictal state, causes and risk factors, physical, psychological, and social recovery, and long-term impact of postictal symptoms. The postictal state is a recovery period following a seizure where the patient may experience cognitive deficits, behavior changes, and psychiatric symptoms, headaches, cognitive impairment, attention problems, trouble thinking clearly are reported most often. On average, 75% of people with epilepsy experience postictal psychiatric symptoms, 82% experience cognitive impairment during the postictal state. Additional symptoms include depression, fatigue, neurovegetative states, anxiety, confusion, memory problems, and postictal psychosis. Postictal psychosis is relatively common and a treatable mental state characterized by hallucinations, delirium, paranoia, mood disturbances, and disordered thoughts due to having a seizure or a cluster of seizures. On average, symptoms can persist for 24 hours. There have been difficulties creating a standard definition for postictal state due to the variation in symptom duration and severity. Some patients report no postictal symptoms, where others have reported symptoms that have lasted days. Determining the onset of the postictal phase can be difficult in seizures where subtle symptoms, such as complex partial seizures. At times, the presence of postictal symptoms may be the only indicator that someone has had a seizure. The postictal state is thought to occur due to changes that take place in the brain following a seizure. Changes can be in electrophysiology or neural exhaustion, cerebral blood flow, and neurotransmitter symptoms and receptors. Different neurochemical and electrical reactions that take place as the seizure progresses into the postictal state become apparent with the onset of symptoms. The specific set of symptoms may provide insight to seizure localization in the brain. Genetic predispositions to psychiatric disorders may increase the likelihood of developing postictal psychiatric symptoms such as depression and psychosis. While psychiatric and cognitive postictal symptoms are common for all types of seizures, people who have seizures that involve muscle spasms and contractions may have to recover physically after a seizure. People may experience soreness, injury from biting their tongue or cheek, and or injuries from falling or collapsing. Additional medications such as benzodiazepines are administered to stop prolonged seizures or if there is a risk of recurrent seizures. Adverse side effects of benzodiazepines are drowsiness, confusion, amnesia, and cognitive impairment, which the patient will need additional time to recover from. Some people find they are able to recover socially well. Others feel embarrassed after having a seizure in public, in front of friends, colleagues, family, or classmates. Reports of depression increase after a seizure, not only due to the impact on neurotransmitter systems, but also due to the social consequences of having a seizure. Postictal symptoms can interfere with all aspects of daily life, from work, school, and social activities. Basic activities such as household chores and personal hygiene can be a challenge. Postictal, psychiatric, and cognitive symptoms can hinder someone's ability to live independently and find gainful employment. The risk of negative social outcomes cognitive distress and poor quality of life increases with the time it takes for someone to fully recover and feel back to normal after having a seizure. In conclusion, further research and educating the public are two necessary steps that will help combat the negative outcomes associated with prolonged seizure recovery. 
Research aimed at understanding the postictal state can help provide insight to when it is safe for people to return to normal activities after a seizure. Research highlighting the neurological mechanisms responsible for postictal cognitive and psychiatric symptoms may provide support for people in need of workplace and academic accommodations. Bringing attention to the unseen challenges people with epilepsy face at both the neurological and social level will enable others to respond with compassion and understanding when someone is recovering from a seizure. To learn more about seizure recovery and the postictal state, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos on our channel and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.